Geminis, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new gems in the building. Let's take a look at what's going on energy wise. We're going to do a Celtic cross, Celtic cross spread. I'm just going to do nine cards instead of the whole 10. So let's jump in. Any information you need to book a personal session with me will be listed in the description box. I will also have my other channels listed below. I posted some new readings up on my Pick a card channel, so if you're into that, check that out. And let's see what's going on. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So, personal situation as of right now, we have the Page of Wands. Possible challenge or issue, we have the Knight of Swords. Recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Hierophant. Conscious Mind, we have the Lovers. Unconscious mind, we have the fool. External influences, we have the nine of swords. Hopes and fears, we have the five of pentacles. And outcome, we have the death card. Okay. So I want to say this too. Happy birthday to my Geminis out there. Hopefully you are enjoying your solar return. And you guys are setting intentions for what you want to see for this another go around for the sun or go around for the sun. What? <laughs> for your go around, your neck go around, around the sun. I don't know why I'm so tongue tied. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump in. So first card that we have here, present situation. You could be very inspired, like in this new energy of feeling excited, willing to storm and, and, and take your position when it comes to your creative endeavors, when it comes to your passions, your your desires. You could have specific desires to start the gym again or specific desires to start that new business or go into that new career path. You just could be feeling inspired and it could be certain things that you're seeing, taking in that inspire you. Or a conversation even could be that spark where you're like, you know what? Yeah, I do need to see how I'm great at this and that. Because the page of wands to me is like having to measure up or not feeling like sometimes we can measure up to our greatness. And during this time frame, you're going to realize that you are very much capable of rising to the occasion. Uh, there could be some heated conversations that come up during this time frame um, with maybe another fire sign or just people who could be a little bit jealous or irritated. So be cautious of that. But going into challenges, since we're kind of discussing that, I do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So consistency. You could be having these moments of burnout where you have tunnel vision. Yes, you have an idea of what you're working towards, the goal that you're trying to go for. Uh, but it could be this like tunnel vision, mental sharpness of like, okay, this is how I'm going to move. And I'm going to approach it like this, 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 and this. And then wanting to move too quickly or just in general moving too quickly or at spontaneous moments to where it's not consistent results. So the challenge could be finding a balance between consistency and having like this tunnel vision energy so that you don't get burnt out. Another thing could be your temper is kind of very short during this time frame. Like you have a very low tolerance for BS. So you could find yourself saying things in, you know, the right moment. And there could be certain things that, you know, you just may not be able to take back. So just be careful of how communication is flowing uh, during the next couple of days. Now, when it comes to the recent past, I have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there may have been a lot of moments where your worth was kind of being taken advantage of. Someone, something, a job, person in a relationship, whatever this dynamic is, you were putting a lot of yourself out there and you were not getting the reciprocation back. Like your worth was not being seen. And that may have been something that really, really pissed you off and kind of irritated you. 
Uh, you may have even realized that you had certain people around you who could have been just using you for your energy, using you for your resources or what they think that they can get from you. And you may have realized that you just have to put boundaries in place with the people that you're connecting with. Now, near future with the Hierophant in reverse, you could be marching to the beat of your own drum, no longer really caring about other people's opinions because you could be realizing the more that you care about other people's opinions, the more that you're living inauthentic to yourself. So you could just be like, you know what, F it. I don't really care about what people have to say, what people think about me. I'm just going to do whatever I feel is necessary. I also see you disconnecting from anything that just doesn't align with you morally. Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable or makes you feel like you're not living in alignment with yourself, you will be trying your best to separate yourself from it. Now, let's go into your conscious mind with the lovers in reverse. Uh, you could be trying to get back to self. If you've been just having days where you haven't been feeling as upbeat or in the energy to keep going, What's on your conscious mind is how you can get back into a state of having that balance or having your stuff in alignment here. Another thing I'm seeing here too with the lovers, uh, your conscious mind, you could have made your mind up where you may have been torn in between like what choice to make with dealing with someone or a job or a business or whatever decision has been kind of lingering. You could be consciously in a space to where you know what is the answer? It's just like executing the actions after coming to the perspective of like, okay, yes, I am going to cut this relationship off. Okay, yes, I am going to start this business. It's just putting the actions now behind it. Now, what I see here, sorry, I have to move this light because it's getting right in my eye. So the next card that we have representing your unconscious mind with the full card in reverse, you could be scared to take certain risks, scared to put yourself out there in ways that is uncomfortable. And even though you've done it so many times before, there are certain things that you want to do that's going to require you to go out of your comfort zone. And with the full card in reverse in the unconscious mind, there is that piece of fear that's stopping you from doing what you want to do or living the life you want to live. Okay. Also, there could be this fear of looking foolish because the full card in reverse can give this vibe like, oh, I don't want to take a risk. And then it doesn't make sense. Now, let's get into the external influences with the nine of swords. There could just be certain things that's triggering your anxiety. So be careful of being around people who make you anxious, having conversations with people that are like low vibrational or letting other people kind of vent to you and throw their energy onto you to where you start to think that you're going through things, but you're really taking on other people's energy and not even your own. Another external influence Every little thing you're taking in, it could be the food that you're eating, it could be the entertainment that you're taking in, anything that's not adding to you could be taken away during this time frame. So look closely at your yourself and your makeup. What are some things that you can look at and say, okay, no, this is causing me anxiety. No, this situation is causing me anxiety. I, maybe I need to change this up to see where you can kind of like pinpoint these issues, but... The next card is going to represent your hopes and fears. And going into the fears first with the Five of Pentacles, you could have this fear of losing out on something. Now, this could be losing out on money, losing out on a relationship with someone by cutting them off, uh, losing out on opportunities, not being on time for you know where you're supposed to be in life by society standard. Or just not having enough. Like the five of pentacles is that like lack mindset. So it could be this fear of not having enough to make things happen for yourself or never being able to. Now your hopes could be that and you leaving certain habits behind that you're going to be attracting more into your life. And you shifting a lack mindset that you could bring in more abundance or leaving a job that could be, you know, full of lack. 
and stepping into a career that's going to help you make even more money that this is going to be in alignment with you. Now, going into the outcome of this time frame, I do have the death card, which is beautiful. This does represent the energy of change, transformation, um, stepping into a new version of self or in a new cycle of energy and being in a space of acceptance and surrendering. So a lot of you are going to be making the changes that you know you need to make, whether this is changing up your diet, changing up your money habits, changing up your schedule, being more accountable. You guys are going to be in a space of self-awareness so much so that you're able to pinpoint these issues and go in and correct them. So that is going to be your main focus. I also see you taking the time out to separate yourself from things that you do not align with. So beautiful energy, especially around your solar return. I do hope that this reading was helpful and did give you some insight for your situation. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see you in the next one, Geminis.